I'm going to make an iron gate system here. But I'm going to use NAND gates to do it. So let's start. We have two inputs, A and B. I run the two inputs into a NAND gate. Coming out of these guys is A ended with B, not. Those two are going this way. I'm going to split up the input signal. Pardon me. I'm going to split up the output signal and run those as inputs into another NAND gate. So its output is going to be as follows. It's going to be a B not ended with A B not quantity knotted because of this guy. All right, let's take this guy and break him down. I said that this is going. I said I'm going to make an end gate out of that. It doesn't look like an end gate to me. What is that? Well, let's do some math on this, and we'll find out that it actually is an end gate. All right, let's do it. Here's my AB. I'm going to end it with AB. Not, not, and quantity not it. Well, according to De Morgan's law, this not which is covering everybody, means that I can break this right here and split this up. So the two factors go here. A, B, not, not. A, B, not, not. This goes here. This guy goes here. And this AND now becomes an R. So, the N becomes its opposite state, or, and you split up the two factors. That's the Morgan's Law. All right, what's the next thing we do? Well, just take a look at these. A not and a not. Two not nots are going to cancel each other out. So, these guys disappear. So, let's make them disappear. And now become AB or with AB. All right, what do I do with this? Hmm, let's use some math on this. Let's use the distributive law on this and create something that's equivalent that we can break down even further. Hmm, what's the common factor here? I can see it immediately, AB. Now, AB, this guy here, times what, will give me AB. And the answer is 1. AB times 1 will give me AB. Now let's bring down the R. Last guy over here. AB times what will give me AB? And the answer is 1. AB times 1 is AB. And you got your R. AB times 1 is AB. Okay, those are equivalent statements. Or I should say those are equivalent expressions. Now, what do I have here? What is this guy? This should look very familiar to you because it is an OR gate. I'm wanting a 1 with a 1. 1 or 1. 1 or 1 on an OR gate always gives you a 1 output. Always. Hmm. So 1 or 1, another way of saying that then is its output, 1. So let me rewrite this now. Now I've got AB open parens 1. Well, what is this? This is an AND gate. I've got an input of 1, 
and I've got another input of AB. All right. If you end anything with a 1, what are you going to get? Whatever that anything is. If AB is a 0, then 0 ended with a 1 will give me a 0. If AB is 1, 1 ended with 1 will give me a 1. So the output of this, AB and 1, is AB. So another way of writing AB ended with 1 is AB. And this is my answer. This entire expression is broken down into A ended with B. This is an AND gate. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.